Hello everybody and welcome. <laughs> Just thought I'd give you a, a different angle on things because having a different angle you see things don't you in a new way. I'm actually making some some bowls that I squash out of shape and uh, And, and also put a couple of handles on but so I'm at the moment I'm just here just here making you know first t the first moment when you throw that lump of clay onto the wheel by the way do throw your lump of clay onto the wheel don't just put it on the wheel and give it a little pat you know that's not what it's about you really want to throw it down hard to the center. When you've done that you need to wet your hands and the lump of clay and just hold your hands onto the lump of clay kind of using your small finger here, little finger, just to make the seal there. So don't apply any pressure at this stage. All right. Then you can start to apply a little bit of downward pressure. Okay and you'll until you're confident that it's properly stuck down to the wheel head. Have you ever had a lump of clay that has come off in your hands? It's annoying when that happens isn't it? So we want to avoid it so make sure it's well stuck down. Okay then we're going to just cone him up you see like this. And then centre him down Till you're left with that. Now sometimes you get a little uneven bit just at the base. You can put your thumb down there just to clear that away. All right so I'm now going to go in. This is really a video clip from giving you some, showing you some hand positions, lifting positions. Okay, at this stage, once we've now, I've got it nice and rounded on the inside, I'm going to push in there from the outside, you see, with these fingers. I'm basically using my two middle fingers, okay, to perform that. Okay, keep it sufficiently wet. Now we're just going to take that clay and we're just going to lift it up. See, up he comes. Now don't let it, don't let it get too wide at this stage. That is important. Now my gauge, <coughs> my gauge, as you can see, is is out of the way. So I'm going to move it in now. This is a new kind of gauge I'm using that an engineering friend made for me. So we move him in. Now the idea is that we get up above the gauge before we go out to the gauge. All right. So we're going to gain a little bit of height now at this stage like that. I'm going to Roll the rim. I'm going to slow down my wheels going a bit. Watch your speed, okay? When you when you're when you're doing okay. Now bringing him up and just out to the gauge. You want to bring him out to about. Um, an eighth of an inch an eighth of an inch from from the gauge you're getting the sideways form let's just check the measurement it should be seven inches on these well he's nearly seven inches 
he needs to go at actually another sixteenth of an inch. So just taking him out just a, a touch further. Alright, now this is where I'm going to take my stick. Now if it's you can take some of the slurry off the actual wheel head. Not a bad idea. Now with my hand on the inside, I'm going to meet the stick. Okay, I put the stick in underneath like that, you see, taking away that bit of clay. This is a bit, you could almost think of this as, as wet trimming. I'm getting right in there, you see, with my stick and getting right down to the root of the pot. But I've used my hand on the inside to prevent the tool from altering the inside shape, which it will do if you don't have your hand on the inside, okay? All right, so I'm just looking at that. Eyeball him, eyeball here. You may, I, you, you'll notice I use my finger here and then you see I turn it like that after I've, when I use my top of my fingernail there just to make a, a line of distinction between this part of the pot and the rim, like a line, a boundary line, you see? It makes it, it makes it crisper, doesn't it? Right, I'm using my sponge just to take out the excess water eyeball the shape, make sure he's... Now I'm thinking he just needs to be pushed in there, he's not quite... It's a fairly... the shape is a fairly uninterrupted curve on the inside and on the outside. Okay, right, I'm going to take our, our leather, just dip your leather in the water so it's nicely wet. We're going to hold him like that and then we're just going to lay him over, you see, like that. Just hold the leather to the clay but don't apply no, none of this downward pressure or two-handed leathering like this, don't do that. Try and, try and do it like this. All you do is hold the end of the leather like, leather like that, you see, lay it over and then the thumb comes like that to just hold it to the... Okay, that's it. We're going to take our cutoff wire, we're going to clean it like this. We're going to slow the speed right down and we're just going to, we're going to move the, the gauge back. All right, and straight through. Let's clean the slurry off my hands, have a towel handy for that. Now to lift off, we're just going to get our fingers like this, you see, like that, underneath, and lift it towards us, like that, and away she goes. Now these particular bowls, as I say, I, I, I pushed them out of shape. Let's do one more. Let's just check the picture. Let's see if we're, we're still there. Yeah, we seem to be, don't we? Yeah, that's, that's good. Let's just come in a, a touch on this one. So, let's do that again. Nothing like repeat, is there? Repeat, repeat, repeat. Okay, so we threw the lump of clay down. We're holding our hands, wet hands, okay? We're concentrating on that little finger there, just making that seal, you see? That seal there, okay? Okay. Now I'm gonna bring the clay up. And now, center him down. Na, na, na. Clean away that little bit down the bottom there, like that. That little bit there 
You see, everything begins at the bottom, doesn't it? Think about it. All right, the pot begins, it grows from there. It doesn't grow from up here, it grows from down there. So get that on center and clean down there when you start because that's going to that's going to determine how nicely you've got that finished off just there where my finger is. It's going to determine how easily that clay is going to want to to go up, be lifted up, okay? Now I do that all in one movement, you see, against against the side of my hand. I'm using the my hand here and I and I just pushing and lifting that hand, you see. Okay. Pushing in from the outside, creating that I'm looking in a mirror as well. Never a bad idea to use a mirror because it, it it helps you focus on the on the profile of the pot, and that's what you should be focusing on. It's on the shape here. You can't always see the shape, can you, when you're right on top of it here? That's why having a mirror is such a great idea. If you don't have a mirror and you've never tried one, Spend two dollars, go and get yourself a mirror and try it out. It'll be the best thing you ever did, I'll tell you. Best thing since sliced bread. Wow. I don't know how good sliced bread is, really. I like to slice my own if I can. <laughs> you know what I mean. Okay, so I brought the gauge in. I'm now going to grab that clay, pull it up. Be decisive about it. Okay, pull him up. Don't go too wide. Now just roll that that lip over your finger, okay? And then tuck him right round like that. Okay, and then that movement as I told you, like that, you see? Okay. Keep him keep him wet enough, alright? to the gauge. Yeah, looking good. Like that. Next. Let's take our throwing stick, get down to the root of the pot. Okay, remember what I said, we're going to keep this hand don't just go in on the outside like this but without a hand on the inside because you'll just muck the inside shape. It'll go all not, ni not nice. So you're going to take off that, you see. Wet trimming it with the tool. This saves us a lot of trimming afterwards. Okay, you may you may you may want to you may want to just put him on the wheel upside down. You've seen it me do it, and um, you can either thumb these off or skim them off. Well, these bowls actually are going to be squashed out of shape, so they're not going to be that easy to put back on the wheel. Okay, so we're going to take the leather. Okay, we're going to hold the leather in the left hand. Okay, hold it over with, then come in with the thumb like that and hold it to the index finger. Okay, you can just hold the end of the leather here just to secure it. Okay, so come in like that and like that. Easy peasy. All right, let's just, just check him. It should be seven inches. Exactly seven inches it is. Bonzo. Righty-ho, so. There he is. Okay, I was gonna go for my wire. 
reduce our speed, push back the gauge, just push back your gauge a little bit. Sometimes when you cut through a pot, it just pulls it just slightly off center when you've cut through. And if you've got a gauge right up tight, just being pushed off center that little bit will then crash the pot into the gauge. So it's not a bad idea to actually move your gauge, especially for people who are not used to using a gauge and they're not familiar with the idea having a gauge with a retractable pointer like this is actually a good idea and come to a conclusion. Okay, so toggles at the back, yeah. Thumbs to operate the wire. Down, through, let go of the wire. That's it. Wipe your hands off a touch. Underneath, right to the base of the pot, all right? And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna just tilt it like that, you see? Let's air get in underneath. Put them on the board. And then, in this case, I'm pushing them out of shape. So there it is. Oh, Simon, what, not GP bowls again? Haven't we done these 35 times already? <laughs> I know, yes, but there's so many things you can do with a GP bowl. You wait till you see these. You see? Make them to a gauge and you'll get them the same height, the same width. And then when your customer breaks one, he can come in and he can, he can get another one the same. Very high tech. <laughs> but why not make them the same? Hey, keep practicing. See you soon. Bye bye. Dee -dee -dee -dee.